Um, yeah, I'll catch you. Good hey folks. So here. And I've been stuck playing once human for how many days straight, so um <laughs> if you wonder where I've been, I've been um speaking on once human. Pretty fun if you got some friends with you. But that being said. Uh let's see, last time we got mistaken for a red mist incident, and uh now we need to figure out if there's any way for us to um get some uh wait fuck up some parade. Or at least have her not be weakened by it. So, uh, we're going to Corindo next. Last time, remember. Let's have a go, shall we? I've been putting this off a couple times, a couple days in a row lately because of, well, some IRL stuff. Plus, uh, well, again, once you've been, I've been doing a lot of stuff with that. It's fun, but that's not the topic right now. I have some footage to, uh, that I kind of want to splice for that. But we'll see when my lazy ass gets to that. And, uh, you know, this is not how I imagined Korindo's shop to look. But it makes sense. The guy is a collector of curios from outside of the border. So, uh, out of all the interpretations of Korindo's shop... Yeah, this one makes pretty much a lot of sense, too. Oh, dude. Ah, an actual customer. What can I do for you today? Is there something in particular you're looking for? Do you have anything that can blot out the light of the sun? That's a pretty tall order. Don't you think? Can't you just use an umbrella? Well, I could. But trying to simultaneously fight and block the sun with an umbrella it seems like a real pain. The monster I'm hunting down seems uh, seems like something I'd want two hands free for. Uh, just so you know, this is hands down the most ridiculous request anybody has come to me with. But this is your lucky day. I just happened to get something rather interesting in earlier today. Wait a minute. Ah, here you go. What is this? A small tube? This marble in a can is called Super... What's his name? I'm oh, sorry. It's called Super Light Shield Spray. Just apply a nice, even coat to your body, and it fully blocks sunlight. The Kappa made it while trying to reproduce spray on sunscreen. Wait, 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 hold on. My brain just went, went haywire there for a minute. So the Kappa tried to make the sun spray on sunscreen, and then they ended up making like a shield um, light blocking substance instead. That's spray on. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is total. This is the kind of nonsense you'd expect. This batch came out a little too strong. Apparently, if normal humans used it, they'd freeze and die of hypothermia. Ooh, that's terrible. There's no way I could sell something like this in the village's bazaar, so I ended up bringing it here. But I guess for someone like yourself, it's all benefits and no drawbacks, right? Only one way to find out. Whoa, don't spray that stuff in here. I don't want it to... I don't want it eating the finish off my products or anything. If this ends up being hazardous, I'm holding you personally accountable. Hmm, I do feel cooler. But that doesn't necessarily mean I could just stroll in, in the middle of the day without a care. Well, wouldn't you die immediately even if you were in direct sunlight? I'm oh, sorry, you wouldn't die immediately even if you were in direct sunlight, right? You got wiggle room. Wow, what a terrible thing to say. Anyway... Just take the spray as a gift from me. It's not like anybody would buy it anyway, even at a bargain basement prices. And as a little something extra, I'll throw in this super waterproof spray absolutely free. Super waterproof spray. What is this, another invention from the Kappa again? I heard you vampires are not too fond of flowing water. But make them in handy. Just spray that on, and you'll be as a water repellent. Uh, sorry, be as water repellent as a duck. Just don't go diving into any rivers or anything. You're being awfully generous. What's the catch? No catch, really. I'm giving you these two sprays on the house, but I do sell some other things here you might find useful. Ah, I see where you're going. Hunting down monsters can be troublesome. Can be a troublesome task. So if you like these free samples, surely it wouldn't hurt uh, if you came. Fine, fine, I'll patronize your store. Many thanks. I'm not asking you to buy things you don't need, of course. Just stop by when you need a, when you have a particular need. Ha! Huh, if that's the case, 
I might not ever end up coming back here again. If that's truly the case, so be it. Oh, and tell your maid Essa hello. She's one of my best customers, you know. I'll pass that along. But right now, I intend to enjoy my first hand, uh, my first experience sunbathing. Enjoy the daylight all you want, but just keep in mind that the, spare, the spray's effects only last for 24 hours. Noted. In that case, I should be on my way to the waterfall of Nine Heavens. And so... We have uh, an overly powerful spray. We could check Corindo right now, but we'll have to save that for another time. Let's just go straight into a level. Before I... Before I feel derped. <laughs> it seems that dodgy spray is actually working. Don't be surprised. If the lower falls office is closed, I need to pay a visit to the upper falls branch then, right? Waterfalls, midday strolls. This may, this may be my least favorite day ever. I never thought I'd see the day when I could walk triumphant in broad daylight. A vampire who has overcome her weakness is fit to be called the ultimate life. Okay, enough with the weird thoughts. Time to get going. <laughs> That's a very total thing to have happen. So. That's a very, very total thing. <laughs> oh, shoot. Speaking of me being stupid and not remembering how things work. In um, Yoyo Kengeki Musa, I don't think the uh, borders were open like that. If I remember right. So, I'm too used to just brushing up against borders. I think that mob got stuck in the... Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, fair enough. Spiritual nails. I kind of want to check, but I kind of want to get going. Of course, I'm going to check anyway, because why not? <laughs> it's been a while since I did any recording, so now I really, really want to just get some time in. That's pretty good. I mean, again, I'm, I'm taking it for the taking it for the item find. So I'm taking it for the item find primarily, <laughs> and I should take some time to enjoy this. Uh, Music while I'm just casually mucking about up here. Do, do, do something here? No? Okay. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the, as always, not so frequent scarcity of uh, me doing videos and stuff. Between the occasional gacha game stuff and uh, uh, other things I do, I've just been massively on Once Human, and I'm gonna keep gushing on about it because that's just what I've been doing. <laughs> Literally, just before I started doing this, I'm like, oh shit, my farm. Oh shit, my my my, my um, polluted water production. I better go take care of that before I record. But I'm only really taking into it because I've just been playing together with some European friends of mine. So we're just down on the EU servers, just casually chilling. I think we only recently got to level cap. So we haven't really tried getting into uh, any of the post, uh, any of the, 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 the farming bits yet. Well, farming in terms of gear, not so much in terms of uh, actual farming farming. I'm on the wrong platform. Didn't this happen to me in Kengeki Muso as well? I could have sworn there was a, a, a platform instance that happened to me just like this as well. I'm having deja vu and I don't even remember what the hell happened. I still haven't gotten around to like, ooh boy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually remember the button this time. I haven't actually remembered what the hell happened uh, on Kengeki Muso. Because I haven't gotten around to playing that because I was too busy playing what's human. And I'm gonna keep gushing on about that as I'm talking Toho stuff. Uh, well, as long as I have your ear, assuming somebody else besides me and some personal friends are watching. Uh, Toho relates. Are you a Toho fan too? If so, uh, your favorite character. I'd be curious to know. I think I've already stated in one of my previous videos that, uh, that I'm more of a fan of the. Uh, fan of the Scarlet Devil Mansion set of characters, but if I had to pick from protagonist characters as well, Sakiya not not excluded because well, she's part of Scarlet Devil Mansion, so she's she's already a given. Uh, I guess I have a bias towards Marisa. Somewhat. Is there something there? Is there something there? I want to know, but I can't see. <laughs> I want to see. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know. I want to know. And that wolf is out of bounds. Oh. Just terrible at hitting things. Okay, good to know. What else is there? <laughs> but yeah. Just a... I don't know what it is. I am just casually chatty today. For some reason. I'm just oddly chatty. And normally I'm not. Usually when I'm doing videos like this, I'm... 
usually... I'm, I'm sure some of you who are already friends of mine that already know, and maybe some of you who are just casual watchers probably noticed, but I'm usually on a loop whenever I'm doing recordings, or even streaming. Like, I'm just... Fire from the hip. I don't have anything in particular to talk about, so I sound very loopy. Very, very loopy or aloof, or just plain, just yapping about the same thing. I guess that'd be the easiest way to describe it. But I'm oddly chatty at this moment. So for once in my, for once in my, how long I've actually just doing YouTube uh, videos for fun on and off. I'm oddly chatty today. But yeah, I feel like I don't do enough um, uh, Toho-related uh, fan games and official games, so I kind of want to get more into that, but I understand that's a bit of a niche. I'm sure most content creators don't like that sort of thing, but there's obviously a niche fandom for it. I'm one of them. <laughs> like, I'll actually just watch people play some Toho games when I need just uh, uh, noise in the background if I'm not watching VTuber stuff, and I usually am. Actually, I'm a little curious too. If you happen to be one of those fans that's also a fan of uh, VTubers, uh, who's your favorite? Uh, jeez. I've got so many subscriptions, I haven't even had a chance to really sort them out for ones I watch and ones I don't anymore. But I have three in particular I do watch. That's, um, well, of the indie sphere these days. Of course, I'll occasionally look at stuff from Hollow Live and maybe be Shoujo every now and then, but. I don't watch a whole lot of the uh, major companies. Maybe sometimes Hall of Stars, uh, EN, and JP, though. I do find the boys very fucking hilarious, so I'll, I'll occasionally lurk on their chats as well. Why? Well, because they're hilarious. Mm, that being said, uh, of the three, I'm willing to actually like admit I watch, as far as uh, VTubers goes. Uh, I'm a fan of a certain crazy uh, orc office worker that really, really likes is uh, camping and bicycling. If you happen to know, then you happen to know. Although, if uh, any of you happen to be curious about me um, making any discussion, sort of uh, streams or videos regarding VTubers, well, let me know. Honestly, I feel like I wouldn't have much to say. There are so many commentators and uh, uh, VTuber uh, clip and other channels that cover this stuff anyway, I don't really ever feel the need to. Because, well, I don't. I'm part of the crowd that likes to just sit in and watch these kinds of commentators and uh, uh, people anyway that talk about uh, VTubers day in and day out. Yeah, it's 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 a fandom. I'm I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> okay, ignoring that, it's a it's a it's a fandom. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm just kind of listening and watching all the time. So I'm always just chatty with some friends of different discords going on the, the, the recent happenings in the uh, industry. And just in different places. You discover a, a couple different uh, VTubers that you never would have thought you'd discover just sitting around mingling with other people. <clears throat> just casually. I'm gonna make it a point. Like, out of all the, 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 the VTubers I do happen to watch, and of the three that I'm willing to point out, one is male, which is, well, the orc I mentioned, and two are female. I'm not going to make a mention of the female ones, because you'll probably find me in the chat. Maybe. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. If you happen to be a fan watching as well. But, there's two in particular I watch, just not as often. It's due to timing. Lately my um, sleep schedule's actually been renormalized, So, <laughs> I'm not awake at the time. <laughs> either of the other two, um... Either of the other two VTubers I, I like to watch. Um, the streaming. So I end up having to be part of the, the VOD gang, as a result. So there I am, the VOD gang for those two. Maybe one day I'll talk about it. But if you might be wondering, okay, so Sarah, why are you interested in, why are you okay with talking about the male VTuber but not the female VTubers? Hold on, hold on, where am I going? Well, that's because I don't like putting a target on my back. Okay, maybe sometimes I do. It's funny, but it, it's one of those things. When when it comes to just uh, dudes, we're we're chill with each other. It's whatever. 
Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not too fond of- I'm not too, uh, ashamed of, uh, talking about my, my, my dude friends and just being proud of them. But, uh, when it comes to uh, being fans of, uh, female content creators, even if it's just VTuber-related stuff, uh, I find I like to keep my cards close to my chest, if that makes any sense. Because there's, there's a couple I do like to sit in and watch, but there's maybe only two in particular I really, really am a fan of. Of course, if we were, to, we were to go on and on talking about Hololive, I could actually point out to you which ones uh, from each generation I always found uh, enjoyable for me to watch, even on a casual, passive basis, and I still kind of do. It's not as often these days, just because, well, VTubing as an industry has gotten so bloody huge that <laughs> there's a VTuber for gaming or anything. So, it's hard to keep track. You kind of have to make your time suika. You kind of have to keep it um, nice and tidy. Suika. Ta-da! Listen, I hate to shut you down when you're so obvious, obviously excited, but I've come seeking a Tengu, not an Oni. What? <laughs> oh, come on! Don't be like that. Just play with me a little. Big-eyed pleading doesn't really suit an Oni, just so you know. You're here about the monster, right? And you didn't like that article about the red mist and want to pester the Tengu, right? That's exactly why I'm here. But when you say it like that, it makes me sound petty and petulant. Exactly as planned. Wait. You can make yourself larger and turn into mist, can't you? Hold up. If you think I'm the Crimson Mist, you're wrong. But you're so blatantly suspicious. If it was you, that would explain everything. Oni never lie, I assure you. By the way, since we're both here and all, how about getting a little work out in? Uh, why not? To be honest, I've been frustrated since yesterday. I need to blow off some steam. Prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah, this is my jam. Bring it on. Sure. Okay, now... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I regret that. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'll admit Maybe I shouldn't have gone straight in <laughs> for the for the jugular <laughs> right from the start. <laughs> Maybe that was a wee bit reckless of me. Ow! Ow! Now, stop! <laughs> she has a ranged hit too while we're at it. And some very strong single strike hits. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. So far I don't need Ow! So far I don't need my spell cards just yet. Ah, okay, hold on. Hold on. It's like, what are you doing? Usually when a boss is running away from you, it doesn't mean anything good. Usually. Ah. <laughs> I can spin too. But she can spin as well. <laughs> no. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, okay, I almost got hit by the recoil there. Uh, you know, this is fine. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Nope, I didn't. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's fine, nerd. Nerd. You're not half bad. Come on, you're not even taking this seriously. You didn't even get bigger. If I turn giant size here, that journalist hiding out here would probably cry. But I can tell you this. You better get stronger if you're aiming to defeat that monster. So you do know something about it. Maybe... But if you want me to spill the beans, you'll have to make me. And that'll take more strength than you've got now. Fine by me. Well, even if I can't get an answer out of you, I'll figure it out myself eventually. That's the spirit. I'm gonna enjoy watching how this pans out. Um... Is Misuika still here? Still there? Why are you hiding behind the door? <laughs> She's something like an ex-boss of mine, so I get nervous when I see her. Oh, don't mind me none. You came here to have a chat with the Tengu in the first place, right? Is that so, Vermilion? Miss Vermilion? How can I help you today? I'd like to ask a few questions about the reporting of this publication. Ah, you're here because of the article, aren't you? Did you perchance have any misgivings about our reporting? Did you think you could print such a libel about me and I wouldn't get offended? What are you trying to do, pick a fight? Oh, I'm terribly sorry you feel that way. 
Well, how about this? I heard that your mansion was demolished by a monster. What if I read an article about that? If people see that you yourself were a victim, it would help dispel the fears about you. Uh, no way. I'd die of embarrassment if people knew my house got destroyed. I'm afraid you're a little late. I heard some people in the village talking about it already. <laughs> Let's forget about that for now. Oh, and for the record, I wanted to set one thing straight for us, Tengu. Sure, we're not straightforward or honest as only. We've never denied that. But when it comes to our journalism, we print only the truth, and you can quote me on that. I mean, sure, sometimes we might write an article before doing proper research or vetting our sources, but nobody's perfect. Do you not see the problem with that? Info's gotta get out of get out to the public while it's still hot and fresh, right? And right now, this monster's the talk of the town. Anyway. The point of all this jibber-jabber is that you wrote in the paper is true, right? I swear. That's good enough for me. So, if I can find this red mist and check out the area, there's a good chance I'll run into the monster, right? Um, yeah. It seems that way. Is there any other pertinent information you can provide? Uh, can I see the papers you have now? Hmm... Mm. What you've got here covers pretty much everything I know about the monster. What puzzles me is that there, even though this has really started to blow up, the Hakura Shrine Maiden hasn't stepped in yet. Demu, huh? I don't think she's involved this time. Hmm. I still couldn't. It still could. It couldn't hurt to visit the shrine later, just in case. By the way, it's been bugging me all this time, but since when have vampires been able to walk around in broad daylight anyway? <laughs> Great secret, I'm afraid. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh no, it looks like things are going to get even more entertaining than I expected. Agreed. This could be a big scoop. Random vampire sells her soul to <laughs> to become uh, uh, impervious to light. Surely this is the scoop of the century, right, Aya? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and save that then. Oh, wait, hold on. I've never heard of any monsters like that in the Force of Magic, though. Would you like to record your- Yes, Patchy, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And until then, this is Seraph. I'll see you folks in the next part. Ah, I think my throat is nice and warmed up this session. Nice. I feel pretty good today. <laughs>